Many times, instead of going back and forth between multiple tabs, it would be good to have a side-by-side -side view of the web pages. What you can do is select a tab, hold Command or Control on your keyboard, Command for Mac users and Control for Windows users and Linux users. Click on the other tab, right click, and then click on split two tabs. Now you have two tabs side by side. You can also change the width of the tabs. Sometimes it is a bit difficult. Yeah. So you can do multiple groups like that. For instance, here I'm doing a travel research, split these two tabs. So I can browse them side by side and I can both go back to the other group when I need it. So what if you want to unsplit this one? Now, go to the URL, hover over the URL bar, you will see this icon. Click on this and, oh, there's also the horizontal one. Uh, you can browse this way too, if it's, if it's convenient for you. So I just want to unsplit them, click on this and hit unsplit. And that's all. You can push this one step further and let's say, let's do three tabs this time. Split three tabs. So you get this uh, grid of arrangement. If I want to change that, let's say to vertical, yes, I can do that. Go back to grid, I can do that. Let's see if I can rearrange them. Don't think I can rearrange them. Yeah, this is the format you'll have. Two tabs on the left, left pane and one on the right. So once I'm done, I'll just unsplit them. The next big feature here I usually use is workspaces. So it seems like there's some bug. There's always some bugs with this browser because it's still in beta. Uh, so go to settings, tab management, and workspaces. Now, there should be a way to just add it here, but sometimes uh, it seems like there's a bug. So I need to remove this one, uncheck this, and maybe restart the browser. Okay, let's see. All right, yeah, so now I have this default workspace here because I unchecked this one. So what I'll do is I'll uh, add one more workspace by clicking, left clicking on that and click on plus and just say, this is my work. So create workspace. So, I'll have one workspace for work and maybe one workspace for entertainment where I'll be playing, let's say Spotify or something, create workspace, right? Now, imagine workspaces like to isolate whatever activities you're doing. So let's say I have YouTube here and then Spotify here right so I don't want this to interfere with my work like let, let them be playing in the background I don't want it here so that's when workspaces are very very useful uh, so that you just get to see one set of tabs without having too much distraction go back to settings here in settings click on display workspaces as an icon strip now you see you can just switch between them uh, there's also a keyboard shortcut here for switching between workspaces. It says Option Command E. However, when I do that, the first time I was not able to get it. So the easiest way to do that is click on Reset to Default and say Restart Zen Browser now. Once you restart, these two keyboard shortcuts should start working. Option Command E, E to forward. Yeah. And that's pretty much it about workspaces. Another really good feature that Zen offers is something called Glance. If you go to settings, tab management, all the way, sorry, um, look and feel all the way down here, you'll see enable Glance. So the way this one works is on Windows, it's Alt click on, so go over to any URL. Like if I do not want to open this one here, I can press Alt on Windows or Option on Mac click it'll just show you a quick preview here and you can hit escape or you can click anywhere like on this close button here and you're back back in here so sometimes i just want to quickly glance on what's happening so i'm just going to option click yeah i see that option click 
I see there's yeah I'm back so this is one other way of improving your workflow feature that Zen offers is uh, tab essentials so pretty much the way that this works is let's say you are, you have multiple workspaces and see how when I scroll you don't see any tabs on top here now one way I can do that is right click and do a pin tab so it will pin the tabs to a certain workspace but when I switch to the next workspace it's all gone right but what if you want a tab to be across all the workspaces so let's say you want to listen to Spotify all the time and you don't want to switch workspaces so the way to do that is click on add to essentials and you see it up, up top here so when you go to another workspace it's always available here so you can switch between multiple workspaces and it's still available here so you can do that to uh, more than one tab so let's say i want settings always displayed add to essentials uh, let's say something else right so you get the idea now to remove this from here you can do right click and say remove from essentials now that is gone and it's back into this group this workspace here uh, the same thing you can do for pin tabs right click and do an unpin tab one other setting you might be interested in is uh, go to settings so in general no sorry tab management go all the way down here it says restore pin tabs to the originally pinned url so what happens is let's say you have pinned a tab uh, you navigate to some other link now it's something else right so you go on with your day like you forget but you always want this to show the whatever it originally was right but since you already moved to some other link and then you quit the browser you open it again now if you see this is somewhere else so it doesn't display the apple stock anymore so go to settings under tab management click on this restore pin tabs to the original pinned url so what happens here is now that i've pinned to this one i'm going to unpin this one uh, let me close this one out. Let's say I want to pin this one, right? Uh, so pin pin this tab, NVIDIA Corp. Let's say I go somewhere else. Now it's in here. I quit the browser. I come back in again. Now see, it's back to whatever the original URL it was pinned for. So navigating to any other link doesn't change that. Every time you quit and you come back in, it's always showing the tab that you initially pinned it for. We have faced this scenario a lot of times. Let's say you have a personal Gmail account, then you have a work Gmail account. But what happens is every time you have to use a different profile or you will have to log out and log back in. Firefox offers something called as container tabs. The way that it works is it isolates your login from one tab to the other tab based on the container you are saying. Now it might sound complicated, but I'll make it easy for you. Let's say you log into a certain account, but for the same website, you need to log in using another account, right? Now, what happens is here I have a personal workspace. Uh, you can either create a new tab, but I like to isolate it with a different workspace. So I go to a different workspace and use the same website. Now, as you can see, because I have logged in here, the same I'm, I'm being logged in here as well. Now, how do I change that? Right click on my work workspace, click on these three dots, and I say set default container. You can pick, you can create on your own container, but I'll just use an existing one and I'll say this is my work container. Now it takes effect only when you open new tabs. Now you see this work thing here. Uh, so it means your tab has been isolated from the other login now as you can see here i'm already logged in here let's consider this to be my personal account come back in here uh since every tab you open here it has this work container it's somewhat like a profile but not exactly a profile so i open the same website now you see i'm not logged in but here i'm logged in this is how you can use containers to isolate between multiple accounts so that you can use multiple logins without one interfering with the other. Now the question is, can I use containers within the same workspace? Yes, absolutely you can, but that involves a bit more steps as in adding a 
new add-on and then doing a right click open in a certain container so on but this is much better be because this one lets me focus between my work and personal profiles or whatever profiles you choose to use